I notice a lot of women, they'll be absolutely stunning and they'll have their makeup done so nice and then they'll just have this blush, this hooker, clown hooker blush. Now, the only thing I can think of is A, their boyfriend is into hooker clowns, or B, they work in the circus. Because there's, otherwise there is no reason to have this blush on. So I think this is a must-do video. I'm just gonna give you from makeup artists, from talking to makeup artists and tips and tricks I've learned, how a nice blush should look. Okay, so I'm gonna give you top tips to making your blush look gorgeous. Gorgeous little blush, hello little blush. The first thing you wanna do is do all of your makeup for full face. And even if you don't wear a powder all over your face, Put a powder just on the cheeks because that will help with any oils and from sticking and changing your blush color. It takes me to my next tip, if depending on your skin type, if you're dry, you want to stick with cream blushes. Oily, st try to stick with either powders or gels. And then if you're normal, pretty much you can choose any of those that you want. The next thing you want to do is choose your blush off based off your eye shade. Or you can match your lipstick colors. Purple, grayish with a purple, and a nude lip. So I thought peached and bronze would just be gorgeous. I have two blush colors because when you're putting on your blush, are you naturally blush? You don't, you're not blushing in one shade. That just looks awkward. So it's good to have contrast. It's very, it's a lot more natural to have contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead peached and bronzed so that's I chose my color then you're gonna want to have different brushes too believe it or not I know more money spend on cosmetics if we don't spend enough so I have the angled brush which I recommend for everyone it's slanted that's for contouring and you're getting going to give you that cheekbone line and that actually makes your blush really easy to put on a lot of people will tell you to put smile and put blush on but if you look here when I let down it just that's not where it's the blush is gonna be it's actually gonna be low and make your cheeks look like they're sagging so you want to start with your contour and then right above the contour line is gonna be your cheekbone I'll show you that in a second then that's where the round brush comes in you want to the round brush you can get them in different sizes bigger ones smaller ones because everyone's it's, Everyone's face isn't at the same size. Hello. So do that. And then you're going to, I'm going to use the bigger round brush just because my face looks like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Smile. Fish face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. And you see that line when you make the fish face? That's where you want to put the bronzer. You can even go up. You see how it's creating a line there now right above that line right there is your cheek now just go a little bit above the line there right above the line and just brush it down and up down and up we kind of blend it in with the contour line that you just made so kind of made and go very lightly because you can always add more it's better to add more than have to take away some because again your face is done you don't want to have to start all over from the beginning that so fish face contour right teeny bit above the line add the blush then you're going to kind of blend it in so you don't know where it stops your blush look how nice that looks you're not looking like a crazy person you look very pretty okay and that that's your blush lesson get out there try it this is just for natural there's a lot of different things for changing face shape and blah 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 but that's for another day this is just your basic blush tutorial thanks for watching i hope you watch again because i like you guys